Throw away because I don't want any family members finding my real account. My sister Anne has been best friends with Ruby for as long as I can remember. So growing up Ruby was like a second big sister to me. One thing that is important to note is that Ruby has always had the most outrageous fashion sense possible. She's the person that would wear those runway outfits that you think no one would actually wear. Anne got engaged pre-COVID. Almost as soon as it happened, she started being really weird to Ruby. When she made me maid of honor, I was kind of surprised because they've always sworn to be the MOH at each other's weddings, but I am her blood sister, so it wasn't that weird. But I was completely blown away when she made a group chat, and I found out that Ruby wasn't even a bridesmaid. Both me and my mom tried to talk to her about it, since we figured they had an argument or something, but she would only say that Ruby didn't care anyway. I know that Ruby was hurt, but she didn't want any drama, so I agreed to let it go. Throughout the whole wedding process, my mom kept asking Anne if she would invite Ruby, if she would ask Ruby's opinion, etc., etc., but Anne refused to have any contact with her or talk about anything wedding related with her whatsoever. On Saturday, my sister was married. She had a beautiful outside, socially distanced wedding. But she was seething the whole time because of Ruby's dress. It wasn't at all outrageous by Ruby's standards, so I don't believe that she wanted to outshine my sister. She wore quite a simple wedding dress, but that was her choice. As M08, I of course went to her fitting, and that was literally the one she chose. Anne has been cursing Ruby out and saying that their friendship is over ever since. Finally, I just said that she's been friends with Ruby most of her life, and she knows what she dresses like, and that she should have expected this. If it was that much of a problem, she should have found a way to mention it to her, or just made her a bridesmaid. Anne lost it with me. She sent Ruby some really horrible messages after she screamed at me. She didn't say a word to me all of yesterday, but she's bad-mouthing me to our dad who is on her side. My mom has told Anne that she should apologize to Ruby for the nasty messages she sent, and for yelling at me, so Anne isn't talking to her either. I don't even know what's going on, but Ruby swears on her life that they didn't have an argument or anything pre-COVID. Anne says that that's none of my business and I should be supporting my real sister. My dad agrees with her, and she's rallied the other bridesmaids against me. Making Ruby a bridesmaid or MOH would have been the obvious solution here. Then Anne literally would have been able to dictate the dress code. The fact that Anne is seething over some fog dress gate during what should be one of the happiest times in her life does not bode well for her marriage. Dag is the groom. I didn't mention him because he's basically staying out of it. He's met Ruby quite a few times since she and Anne used to be so close, but obviously he's not going to take Ruby's side since Anne is his wife. I imagine he's bored of hearing her rant about it by now, but that's it. I thought that there must have been an argument for the friendship to stop so abruptly, but Anne got mad every time I mentioned it, so I dropped it on her end. I called Ruby to ask, but she said that nothing had happened. If they did have a fight, they're not talking about it. My sister and Ruby were best of friends literally until the engagement, and then Anne just cut contact with her immediately. The relationship was never strained, it just snapped overnight. The dress was a glamorous dress and she looked amazing in it. It fitted Ruby's usual style, although toned down with much more moderate accessories, etc. She didn't look at all out of place, just a well-dressed and attractive guest. Ruby wasn't trying to one-up her or anything, but she's just generally very stylish and obviously my sister knows that. I think if it was going to be this much of a problem, she should have mentioned it to Ruby instead of blanking her for six months even if she didn't want her as a bridesmaid for whatever reason. Ruby didn't wear a wedding dress or anything really outrageous. It was a dark red, bodycon dress in a satiny material. There were lots of people in form-fitting dresses and she didn't look out of place. Ruby's dress didn't massively stick out. Ruby is very attractive. She always has been but I never thought it was an issue for Anne before. Ruby and Anne had been best friends for 25 years and then Anne suddenly wasn't talking to Ruby anymore. My mom and I weren't trying to be controlling, we were worried. We assumed that something really bad had happened for them to cut contact overnight. When Anne refused to talk about it, my mom was only more worried because she's normally an open book. I don't love Ruby more than Anne or anything like that. The only reason I'm so close to Ruby is because Anne used to be so close to Ruby. They were basically inseparable, so I grew up tagging after both of them. 
Of course I love Anne very much, I just think she's being unreasonable in this situation. Ruby was always going to be at the actual wedding. The phrasing was bad on my part, sorry. When my mum was suggesting that Anne invite Ruby, it was to wedding prep things like dress shopping, etc. I don't know if Dade has feelings for Ruby. I have never thought that they've met many times and there's never been any signs that he does. I definitely do not think it is an affair because then surely my sister wouldn't want to marry Dave and neither would Ruby be at the wedding at all. Ruby doesn't have a history of going after Anne's boyfriends or crushes. Based on some of the advice I'm receiving, I was going to tell Anne this morning how much she means to me and that I'm there for her. But she's seething again, so I'm not trying to. Dave asked me if I could talk to Anne because they've also apparently had a massive fight because he tried to defend Ruby on the wedding night. He asked me if I could explain where he misstepped and how to make it up to her. This is the first time he's ever asked me for help with their relationship, so he's clearly at a loss. I said I was just as confused, and we didn't even know why she wasn't at the bridal party, so he should just try and talk it out with Anne. This when it gets weird. Dave said that the reason Ruby wasn't in either wedding party was because he wanted her as a best woman and Anne wanted her as a maid of honor, but Annie wouldn't budge and said that they should just drop her from both parties to be fair. He said that she explained it to Ruby, and that's why they had a fight. Because Ruby wanted to be included. I said okay, and just hung up, but the more I think about it the more confused I am. If they had a massive fight about Ruby being maid of honor, surely Ruby would remember. Also, I don't know why Dave would want Ruby as his best woman when to my understanding he only met her after he started dating Anne. I really am taking your advice not to meddle to heart, so I won't bring it up. It's possible that this is all I'll ever know, and this will bug me to my grave, but I have made a vow not to push Anne anymore on it. Thank you everyone for your comments. Thank you to all the people for reassuring me that I'm not the one acting crazy. I'm even more confused. Dave called me up about 30 minutes ago, asking me if any of his groomsmen behaved inappropriately towards me. I asked what and he asked again. I could hear Anne in the background shouting something. I said that they had been perfect gentlemen at the wedding and I hadn't had any contact with them since. He then asked me if Ruby knew that she was meant to be best woman. I said not to my understanding, but it was possible that I don't know as both she and Anne had been quite secretive about what happened between them and that he'd be better off asking them themselves. He laughed and hung up. Ruby has texted me asking you what's happening and if I knew about the best woman of honor thing. Just now, I got a message from one of the bridesmaids saying that if Dave calls me, I shouldn't answer him. Anne is on the phone to my dad. I have no clue what's going on, but I think somewhere in this mess is the truth of what actually happened. Everything seems to be exploding. I now think that the bridesmaids or at least that particular one are involved. And if things keep happening at this pace, I think I should eventually find out what in the flying frog is happening. There has been a lot of shouting and tears today. Honestly, I'm exhausted, but so many people have commented for the update, so here it is. I'm still kind of in shock. Anne has been lying to just about everyone. The story is very complicated and long. This list is actually why I used to wrap my own head around it. It's all the facts I have in chronological order. 1. Dave has been to jail and is an ex-drug addict. He met Ruby before he met Anne. After he recovered, he was really struggling with money and Ruby helped him a lot. He considers her to be one of his closest friends. 2. Two years later, Dave was doing well at his job and much more stable and functional. Around this time, Ruby introduced him to Anne. 3. Anne was very reluctant to have a relationship with Dave because of his past, but she had strong feelings for him. Eventually, they began dating, but she was still ashamed of the person he used to be so she told us that they met over a dating app. Dave consented to this at the time. 4. As Dave became more comfortable with himself and the relationship became more serious, he told Anne that she needed to be honest with us about his history. She agreed to tell us but she didn't. She told Dave that she had and wrote a fake letter from my family about how we were really grateful for his honesty and accepted him. She told Ruby that my parents had reacted really badly. So Ruby never brought it up with Dave or my family because she thought it was still a very sensitive topic. 5. When Dave proposed, Anne started freaking out about the wedding. Dave wanted people from his support group to be there, 
Ruby as his best woman, etc., which would expose the lies, but she still didn't want to tell us who Dave was or Dave that she had lied to him, so she decided to continue lying instead of coming clean. 6. So Anne pretended to be really upset that she couldn't have Ruby as her MOH, so she could make the argument that she should be dropped from both wedding parties. She told Dave that she had explained their decision to Ruby and that Ruby had taken issue with it to keep him happy. So she didn't tell Ruby anything at all, and that's why Ruby was so confused about what happened and couldn't think of anything. Anne told Dave and all of his friends from his support group that they shouldn't mention the addiction in speeches or even casual conversation because it was a sensitive subject for certain family members before the wedding. She told the bridesmaids so many lies about Ruby. She told them that she had a habit of causing scenes, that she was going to try and sleep with the groomsmen, that one of them was an ex-boyfriend of hers that dumped her, that she would get way too drunk. Essentially, she painted Ruby as a disaster waiting to happen so the bridesmaids wouldn't like her. Anne also told the bridesmaids that the only reason that Ruby was invited is because I idolize her so they wouldn't repeat any of the lies she told to me. After the wedding, Anne put on her enormous meltdown about the dress. The bridesmaids obviously didn't have a very positive opinion on Ruby, so they were easy to convince that it was meant as a genuine slight. My dad did what Anne apparently expected everyone to do by caving immediately because she was the bride. She tried to do the same thing with Dave's groomsmen by insisting to him that they had said inappropriate things about the bridesmaids. The idea was to basically remove anybody that knew the truth about Dave from the general social circle so it wouldn't come up again. Dave smelt a rat. He asked what exactly the issue was with Ruby's dress and what exactly his friends had said. Anne panicked and accused him of not loving her, choosing his friends over her, etc., and it turned into a massive argument. Dave was mad and very suspicious, so he started calling people up trying to figure out what happened. Anne told Dave that I was just like him caring about Ruby more than her, and also that I wasn't there when it happened. But the timing of the story didn't match up, so Dave called me anyway. That was a weird phone call. At this point, he knew she was spouting bullshits, so he asked her upfront what was going on. She broke down and told Dave everything. He was fuming. He texted us all to let us know about his past and then basically kicked Anne out. She came to us where she then had to explain everything again. Anne is absolutely shaken. I never considered her capable of this kind of deception and manipulation, and I don't think she has ever done something like this before. I feel sorry for her even though I'm really hurt by what she did because she feels so guilty and absolutely miserable because she's worried that things will never be worked out with Dave. She's gone to bed now very upset because our mom won't even look at her. She's fuming that Anne would deceive and hurt her and so many other people like this. I do understand where she's coming from. My dad is also very shocked and hurt. Anne texted Ruby. She sent her a message explaining and apologizing but obviously Ruby is really angry and upset. She just told her that she couldn't speak to her right now, but maybe she'd call her in the morning once they'd both had a chance to calm down. Dave is probably the most hurt out of everyone, and I understand why. He wouldn't speak to Anne, but he did tell me that he really thought that he had our acceptance and that the letter she had written to him had been his most treasured possession ever since he received it, and to find out that it was false was absolutely crushing. I told him that we did accept him for who he was and that nobody blamed him but I don't think it helped much. He has asked for distance from our family and I understand why. I'm not sure when he'll be willing to speak to Anne again or if he wants to be her husband after this. I wouldn't blame him if he goes on to find someone else. The past two weeks have been very stressful. Anne and my mom have been fighting and crying for most of it. We learned that this deception of Anne's was not out of the blue. She has had this obsession with her image for a very long time. She confessed to a lot of stuff from secondary school and her job. Once my dad heard some of the revelations, he decided that Anne should go to a therapist. Anne has been talking a lot to Ruby. From the sounds of it, Ruby is still very upset. Dave sent a message two days ago that I think has sadly resolved this very terrible situation. After learning that this is part of a pattern of behavior, he doesn't think that he wants to be in a marriage with Anne at all as he feels that she hasn't only hurt him deeply but deceived him about the type of person she is. Anne has taken this news badly. She knows that Dave learned about her past from Ruby and is absolutely furious with Ruby for telling him.
She is just as preoccupied with the thought of being someone divorced as she is with the fact that Dave is leaving her. I really hope that the therapist helps her get better, and although I'm not taking it as hard as my mom, I do feel guilty for not noticing this sooner because she's just not well.